year I did a video on the army fitness test which uh, I attempted it this year I'm going to go through the new one because as from the start of the year it changed so it's now three events instead of I think it was five or six last time so we're going to go through them how to train for them and how to pass the army fitness test so first things first now it said it's only three events so the first one is a run it's a 0.5 mile run followed by a 1.2 mile run the 0.5 mile run is anywhere between 6 minutes 30 and 7 minutes and then the 1.2 mile runs then for time you need to get uh, anywhere below 11 minutes 15. Next is a medicine ball throw so some of the jobs you only have to throw 2.9 meters the other one some of the like further ones up you have to do it you have to throw 3.1 meters and then the last thing is a mid thigh pull which is uh, literally like a half deadlift sort of thing which is just all for force. Um, it's on a pressure plate, you need to hit 46 units or more uh, and hold it for five seconds. So that one is one you can't really test at home or at a gym. So today I'm going to show you all the exercises I would do. So you know you could pass the test, make it easier for yourself so when you get there, you go to your training, you know, you know you're going to pass it all. So let's go. Okay, it was good, so I'm going to check myself in the corner somewhere. So, first thing we're going to go over is the mid thigh pull. So this is going to be all lower body exercises. Uh, so, number one, you want to hit the squat, like ultimate leg power exercise. Uh, you're going to get your leg drive, you're going to build the strength and size of your uh, quads doing this, as well as you're also going to get some core stability as well, which is a massive uh, help for the exercise. Next is the deadlift, once again, the staple exercise. Uh, once again, pure, um, pretty much hitting every muscle in your body with this. Going to get your lower back strength in as well. This is going to help with the pull on the uh, mid thigh pull too. Okay, it was good. So we had a uh, camera malfunction then right at battery. So next we're going to go on to shrugs. This is one of the things that's going to help with the uh, the pull. I did this just with a five second hold at the top, just because when you do the high thigh pull, mid thigh pull, you do need to hold it for five seconds with a force. So if you can get used to like pulling upwards. Uh, definitely help massively, especially when you're on the force plate as well. Okay, so next one to stuff which will help with the medicine ball throw. So it's starting off with a close grip bench press. This is a pause bench press, so bring it down, hold it for half a second, then explode up with as much force as you can. This is going to give you the power element. Uh, that's a great for this uh, exercise, especially the fact like obviously when you do the medicine ball, it's pure like force with the throwing. This is pretty much sim simulating the same thing. And another thing you can do is obviously just practice. Like that was that wasn't a very good one, like because it's with a slam ball at my gym. I don't have medicine balls, so I'll do a slam ball. It's a bit more like deflated, so you can't grip it right. With medicine ball, like you do fine. And then this is another thing. It's another close grip variation, but with a dumbbell this time, so you can go closer than you would with uh, a barbell, and it's going to save your shoulders as well a bit. Holding two dumbbells sideways, just do it for reps, like just do it for like ten reps, twenty reps, whatever. There's something to get you going a bit more, and obviously it's a run. So I'd split this up into training routine of upper body, lower body cardio. So on your upper body day, you want to go for something like a shoulder press. Uh, once again, build up the delts, help you for the push, as well as a close grip bench press, either one of the two variations that I showed you. Then a lap pull down, a barbell row, shrug switch will assist you. The bar barbell row ball will also assist you as well, especially in the mid thigh pull. Then just some uh, basic arm work to add on. And then for my lower body, I've gone for a squat, a deadlift, a leg press, a uh, calf raise, and some ab work. Once again, ab work, you're going to build up your core, something which will be used in both of the, uh, the mid thigh pull and the medicine ball throw. Uh, and then you'll see your squat and your deadlift and leg press, all things that will help with that uh, mid thigh pull. So something to give you more leg drive and make you generally like stronger for the movements. And then for the cardio, this is what you're going to do to build up the jog. Obviously in the event it's a half mile jog followed by a 1.2 mile run. So if you go on the treadmill, do a half mile of walk just to like warm you up. And you want to do a half mile jog, your one mile run, then call it down for a half mile jog and a half mile walk. Just so you can kind of get used to doing the cardio, like that probably won't be that hard. And even if you start your run on a, a low setting, 
even if the walk's like really slow, you jog slow, you over time you'll all build it up and when you're ready for the fitness test, you know, you're gonna smash it. So I hope you like this video, try the routine, uh, just pass the test, like anyone can do this. Like, I mean, in fact, I'll do this. Most people that even, haven't even been to the gym before, like literally have a month or two at the gym, do the routine, and you're gonna smash it. Right, so until next time, see you later. Let me know if it's helpful though. Like, comment, subscribe, that stuff.